Hello everybody, welcome to Monster Train. This is a deck building roguelite that I managed to get my hands on. It uh, comes out in a couple of days and you know, since Slay the Spire is so good and One Step for Meaden is so phenomenal and following in Slay the Spire's footsteps, you know, I figured I'd give this a try because it looks like a lot of fun. And it, um, it kind of just kind of threw me in here uh, right when I started the game, so. <laughs> Let's get going. No title card for you. We're gonna go straight into a battle and learn exactly how this works. So as far as I can tell, you have a party, and it's like an it's more of akin to like an actual RPG, but with cards. Uh, Heaven's priests, these disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. Um, it's worth noting that we are champions of hell that are defending the monster train from uh, the, I don't know, Agents of Heaven? This is your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, your run is over. Huh. Your pile, your pyre shall crumble into ash. You know, it probably has a less evil sounding voice than that. Enemies have boarded your train. Enemies enter at the lowest level and move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack your pyre. Summon units to defend your train. Okay, so you don't have champions of hell, you have cards to try and get, keep these guys from moving forward. That's actually a really interesting twist on the formula. You can play each unit card once per battle. So unit cards can only be played once, but what about spells like Torch? Train Steward? Uh, this guy's got multi-strike, so six times two, he's got six health. These guys... this guy heals. And this guy attacks. This guy only has one health, does, so does that mean I could just, like, torch him? <laughs> Great. All right, I'll stick this guy here. Each floor of the train is limited capacity. The amount of space a unit will take up is indicated by the number of pips on its card. Dude, I'm already, like, loving this game a whole lot right now. The train steward. He's got... He's got eight health and five attack. So he's... He does less damage than our Hornbreaker Prince over here, but he's got more health, so let's put him in the front. And then spend the last of our mana. Uh, I guess Ember, sorry, jeez. On uh, Torch and Her, we'll end our turn. Okay. Units come back. Uh, units don't come... Units, I guess, get exiled, and spells get discarded, so we can continue to use them. All right, looks like we made... Wait a minute. Oh! My god. Hold on. Are you serious? They don't just... They don't stop people? Interesting. All right, so we'll put a train steward here. Um, we want to cast Regenerate on this guy. And, uh... No, we don't torch her yet. We'll torch this one. Because we don't want the heels to stick around. We will destroy what's left of your pyre! <laughs> Alright, give us another unit. A brief respite? What does that mean? Hold on, what, what does that mean? I don't know what that means, but I do know that I'm going to put a train steward right there. It's going to finish off that per- Oh, brief respite just means that nobody's- Coming in here soon, anytime soon. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Here, let's regen here. I don't have a torch, so you know, let's just put another train steward here, and that should be enough to finish this whole thing off. Yeah, got him. Final wave! This, the disciples will stop you in your tracks. Defeat the boss to win the battle. His relentless ability means that combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. Oh. Oh, okay. So he sticks around. Let's give him a couple of these torches. Let's cast a regen, because why not? In the turn. Cards go away if you don't use them, a la Slay the Spire. Sounds might be a little bit high, so hold on. Yeah, let's bring that down to like... 
a little bit less. I'm sorry you didn't get to see the sick kill. We got allied clan pack and clan pack and 50 coins. I don't know what any of that means. Three turn boss rush. <laughs> 30%. Choose, oh, clan pack, choose a card. Horn break. Damage dealt by this card ignores armor and shields, piercing five damage. Apply five armor, fortify, it costs zero mana. Damage is dealt to armor before health. Each point of armor blocks one point of damage and then is removed. Or vent, deal two times the spent mana damage to enemy units. It does damage to all units. But you get money for skipping, that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna grab Fortify, it seems pretty good. Hornbreak is also a decent option. Um, allied Clan Pack, I don't know what the difference between an Allied Clan or a Primary Clan is. I guess the Allied Clan is kind of like... Well, I guess it's just kind of like different builds that you can have. It's pretty interesting. I haven't unplugged my mouse. So ignore that noise. These are all free. Consume. Regen. Apply Regen 5. Oh, it, so Regen in this game, Regeneration in this game is like Poison in Slay the Spire. It does its heal and then it gets reduced by 1. Then it does its heal and it gets reduced by 1. That's pretty cool. Sting. Deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit. Draw plus 1 next turn. That's pretty awesome. Um, deal 3 damage and move that unit to the front. We're going to grab Sting just for the card draw. All right. Now we get to decide which path to go down. Hellhorn, gain a Hellhorn unit. Forge your spoils to gain new powers. Forge your units to gain new powers. Get an Awoken unit. Let's go down this path. Wait, do we choose which one or can we go to both? Let's do the Merchant of Steel, see what happens. You've come to the right place. Look at this. This is cool. Upgrade a unit with plus four attack and plus six health. Upgrade a unit with 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 with, with 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 plus fifteen health. Upgrade a unit with endless. When this unit dies, return its card to the top of the draw pile. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can get your units back. Eternal stone. Uh, I have one hundred and twenty-five dollars. So let's actually. I can't choose my berserker boy. Maybe he doesn't have any upgrade pips. You know, we'll give it to one of the train stewards, because what else are we going to do? And let's also give that same train steward uh, some pretty sick attack. And then we'll leave. And I guess I guess we get both of them. Husk Hermit, sweep 25 health. He attacks all enemy units for three. He's a tank. This guy actually is the opposite of a tank, but he still has a lot of health compared to my base units. Neither of them can be upgraded. This guy takes three pips, uh, but he also has Rejuvenate triggers when healed, even at full health. Wait a minute. Whenever you heal him, he gains more attack and more defense. But when you summon him, gain 40 max health. What does that mean? What? Oh, wait. Hold on. Gain 40 max health. So his maximum health when you summon him is going to be 55. But he's only going to come in with 15 of his health. So I can just heal the crap out of him and put him... Okay, let's try this. Let's see, let's put him down there. Let's see what the next battle's going to... see what the next battle's going to bring along. Barbed Disciples. These spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful. Using spells from afar will let you fight without sacrificing your units. Okay, so each a, each enemy party has a different kind of gimmick. This guy has 20 armor. Dude, if I got that pierce thing, this guy would be just toast. Deals 2 damage to any unit that attacks this one. This guy has enchant. It grants spikes too. Whenever a unit with spikes is attacked, the attacker takes 1 damage per attack. Okay. Conduit Redirector. It's weird that that guy's free. And the multi-strike means this guy dies. Um, so let's just torch this fella. We don't want him to stick around, but we'll put this guy here. Combat previews are now enabled. The 
preview number shows the amount of damage each unit will take during the next combat phase. A red X means the unit will be defeated. Yeah, okay, so I was exactly right. Um, he has 55 health, but he's only starting with 15. We'll see what happens when we res cast Restore on him. But we're going to put this in the back. He's going to get himself killed, probably. But we'll put a regen on this guy. Oh, it does increase his max health. That's pretty interesting. So this guy can be just godlike. Hold on, there's an archer now? Well, at least we have a free fortify. Um, do we want to attack the archer or the spiky boy? I think we want to attack the spiky boy. We don't want him to cast spikes on anyone ever again. Um, but I think what we want to do... This guy's going to take 7 damage. If I... If I kill this guy... Then that gets rid of the spikes, which saves a lot of health. So we can put a fortify on our big boy here. This car is full, so let's cast another regenerate on this fella. Give his rejuvenation some work, and let's do it again! Let's make sure that he never dies. And these two are just a match made in hell. It's wonderful. We got a brief respite. Um, let's go ahead and put our train stewards up here. Put another one. Give this guy down here yet another heal. Look at how monstrous he is. The regeneration as well is like bumping up his attack even more. Alright, spiky boy. You gotta go. Oh, it's... he stays enchanting while he's alive. It's not a buff. It's an aura. I didn't realize that. Alright, deal five damage to the front enemy unit. Let's just do it. And, um... More regenerate. He's got 41 health. I would be surprised if he dies. Um... Yeah, I would be very surprised if this guy dies. I guess I'm going to be surprised. This guy's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Alright, what do we got now? Rage 6 plus 2 attack per stack. Decreases every turn. That's plus 12 attack. That's 3 mana though. I don't know about that. Uh, ascend a unit. Move up a floor into the back of that floor. I don't dislike it, but I don't know about it. I don't know about that. Um, deal five damage to enemy units when you summon him. Interesting. He's like a spell. A single use tiny spell. It's pretty interesting. Another sting could be interesting. Enhance a unit with plus three and plus three. Enhance a unit with plus four, apply spikes. Uh... <clears throat> I have a feeling that enemies are going to get stronger and stronger. Let's grab, let's grab the enhance. We're building a green-red deck. Wait a minute. Look, I was trying to equate this to magic, but little did I know how correct I was. The end is near. This incarnation of Hell's Greatest Foe has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. This fight will require more than sheer strength. Well, that's the boss of this area, right? Heavily armored creations to protect this ex-professor in his quest to safeguard, safeguard Seraph and the Winged. Hold on. All the way down here is where... Yep, Seraph is all the way down here. This is going to be a long game. Something interesting can be found in the Frozen Hellvent. Awoken... Restore 20 Pyre Health. Gain an Artifact. Duplicate, duplicate any card except your champion. Who's my champion? Current Ring? Oh, Ring. Ring of Hell. Okay, great. 
Is this my champion? No wonder he's so strong and has no upgrades. So I cannot duplicate him. Who would I want to duplicate? I don't know. I want to see what the artifact is. I don't need 20 health, but I'm really curious about artifacts in this game. Up, uh, units gain an extra upgrade slot. Friendly units get plus three health. Um, just because I'm interested to see if it affects the prince. What? It's not showing up. Wait a minute. Hold on, did that... Did that increase my maximum health? Okay. Wait, what is this? A fissure in the ice forces... A fissure in the ice forces the Bone Shaker to stop. You've seen cracks like this before, often allowing you to multiply your forces through some ancient magic. But this one is different. Unstable. Throwing something into the fissure could have unusual side effects. While just absorbing the energy from afar could have the more expected effect. How do you approach the ice fissure? Copy a card five times! I don't have anything that I want to copy five times. Do I? Five times. <laughs> do I? Do I copy my train steward five times? Wait a minute. I could have unlimited train stewards? Let's get weird. Duplicate. All the upgrades. Your tribute sinks into the fissure, followed by a bright flash of light. Then nothing. The fissure closes. All that's left are several copies of what you tossed in. Unstable, but strong. Endless, 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 endless. I have an army of pow powered up train stewards. So, does it being unstable actually change anything? I'm curious to find that out. So, this could be a bad thing. <laughs> I have too many train stewards. Heavily armored creations protect this ex-professor in his quest to safeguard Seraph and the wing. Uh, plating seal. Constructed explosives enter with damage shield. Don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know what that means. I like the currently playing thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Daedalus is the strongest boss you've faced yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out the uh, other enemies on that floor. Okay. Watch out for triggers. This bomb has a triggered ability and will explode on its turn dealing damage. Mouse over units with the purple trigger icon to see the details of their abilities. Despawn until deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit. This guy has 250 health. What the hell? What the hell? All right, this is nuts, dude. So it'll, it's just going to happen. I don't know what to do about it right now. I could put this guy down, but I don't know if he's going to be able to survive for very long. Deals 10 damage to the front enemy unit. And right now, the damage that this guy is going to take if I put him down on the field is going to be a total of 6. So we'll put him out. Uh, we'll put the Hornbreaker Prince in the back, obviously. Give him a nice little regenerate. It's going to be super useful. It's losing 14 health. Why 14? Alright, this one's gonna die. I like the little preview icon. Where's the 14 coming? Oh, it's 10 from here and 4 from there. Duh, a uh, duh. A uh, duh. And honestly, I don't really need to attack that guy, so let's torch this one 
to lose less health. End the turn. Oh, that does not feel very good. Yeah, who do you think you're healing? Wow! I didn't get my good train stewards. It's alright. Master? What does this guy do? Triggers when you cast a spell on this floor gain plus one attack. I, I forget who, um, who attacks first? Is it me or is it them? Gosh, what do I want to do? Actually, I can do everything. So let's go ahead and summon another steward over here. It's gonna be great. Um, he gets plus one attack. That's fine. And I believe I want to armor him. And I don't think stinging... Uh, no, sting will help us. A sting will help us on both floors. Actually, no, it depends. I don't... I gotta pay attention. Who, who gets... who attacks first? Because if I sting on this floor, I kill them both. If I sting on this floor, I kill them both. You know what? We'll sting on this floor. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, they attack first. So I have to focus on the defensive. <clears throat> Alright, he's gonna move up. We have three floors now? Alright, we have our endless boys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, there's not gonna be any enemy units here. But we could still put a train steward up here. Do we want to put him up there? Yeah, he'll survive for sure. Well, definitely what we want to do is put a restore on this boy. Make him heal as much as humanly possible. Uh, maybe even put a steel... No, if we want to put a steel enhancer on anybody, it's going to be him. Make him super strong so when Daedalus comes back down to the first floor, he's going to feel very upset about what he's, what he's done. And then I believe uh, you cannot play units in the Pyre Chamber. This will allow us... If we put it on this floor, it'll allow us to actually deal damage to Daedalus. Actually, let's put him here. Let's not waste it. Ah, it goes through the wall. Alright, our uh, big tanky boy is looking pretty good. He does not go up to the pyre chamber. Interesting. Returns to the top of the draw pile. Actually, that could be pretty dangerous. Um... Give him another restore. He has no armor left. Unit abilities only affect their current floor. I can't cast him on this floor, because this guy's too fat. Um, currently he's going to be taking death. 15... All right, by torching this guy, he survives for one more round. I will put this guy up here in turn. He only barely survives. Do we get a brief respite, perhaps, perchance? I would very much like a brief respite. Two damage. All right. All right, here's... Here's what happens. 
all in an effort to save our man. We're gonna do this. And then Molting Imp. Hey, we did damage! Set Imple, I got an achievement. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that bomb. But what are you gonna do? He's endless, so he's coming back. Too quick for you. Final wave. <clears throat> Alright, he's got the relentless thing going. He's got attack now as well. Eight attack. Alright, we're just gonna rejuvenate the crap out of this guy. Give him as much attack and survivability as possible. Um, put another Endless Boy right here. Prep that area for the next round. So he's gonna take... He's gonna get hit... It'll take him three hits to die, so he's gonna get two attacks off, I think. Which is a decent amount of damage. He's gonna lose 127 health in this fight. Okay. I forgot you were alive up there! <laughs> Look at that rejuvenate work. It doesn't matter, he's dead. And he actually survives an attack before moving on to the next floor. Oh! I like how it's frozen out. Uh, if we steel enhance this guy, it'll actually make him survive another. Right? Is that how that works? It'll make both of them survive another. Yeah. But I want this guy to survive another, because he's going to have more health. Or more damage. And then Endless Boy here. And I believe we just... Reju Restore's not going to do anything. Just torch him. Watch out for the steam! I like his wings. Uh. I don't know if our Endless Boys are good enough. Give him a sting. We have no room left on this... On this floor, um, should I have? I don't think I should have done so many endless boys. They're like starting to flood my hand. Uh, this does not allow him to survive. I don't think. Torch him! Torch him! I don't think that allows him to survive another turn. Uh, okay. Um. Nope, it didn't. We got, we got him down to 28. Not letting me cast any more spells. So when they get to the pyre, it's just the pyre on his own. We get a rare pack though, some major enchant en enhancements. Um, draft a primary or allied clan unit. Okay. I got minus 16% total score. Spike of the Hellhorn, consume, apply 2x rage and 2x armor. I'm not sure about these x cost things. Reinforce, cons uh, double armor on a unit, consume for three. Dude, these are like animated so beautifully. They're subtle, but they're like nice. Look at that! That was so cool! Unleash the Wildwood. Restore friendly units to full health. I don't know about any of these, but I think if any of them, it's going to be Spike of the Hellhorn because I don't have very many things that give armor. And three for doubling armor when the armor is probably going to be pretty low on any given unit sounds like a pretty unfortunate situation. Uh, but look, we can get another resolve gain armor five. Triggers after combat. So if he survives, he gets more armor. So if we put him in like I don't know. Thorned Hollow. Summon, gain 50 max health, rejuvenate, gain spikes one. Oh, this guy is cooler than the other one. He doesn't gain attack, though. The other guy gains attack, right? 
Uh, where is he? Where is he? Yeah, he gains attack. Not just spikes. Spikes are pretty cool, though, too. Especially if he's going to be a big old tanky boy. <clears throat> I don't know, though. Multi-strike 2. Attacks an additional time each turn. Oh, so this one does 9 damage. If I can put an enhancer on her, she's like... Ridiculous. So putting an enhancer on her makes her do 18 damage? This, these are all tough choices. Thorned Hollow could be alright. I mean, these could all be alright, right? Gain armor 5, triggers after combat. Do you have to be in combat for the resolve to work? I don't know about having two hollows in my deck. Let's grab this steel worker. Enhancement. Gain or plus one ember per turn. Your pyre gets plus 10 damage and plus 30 health. Draw plus one each turn. Your pyre gets plus 10 damage. And they all give plus 10 and plus 30. And then plus one capacity on each floor. Oh, that is pretty cool. These are all really like game changing enhancements. I don't know about the plus one mana per turn. I, I usually like that in Slay the Spire, but given the space limitations of this game, I don't know if that's very good. Um, draw plus one each turn, I think is going to be pretty good considering the fact that um, our deck is going to be flooded with endless boys. But then again, with the endless boys, the light of Seraph, we're going to... That means we can put three endless boys on a single floor. That's gonna be good. All right, and you know, that's half an hour. I'm, wow, I'm in love with this so far. Like, this is super cool. Uh, and it looks like these runs are gonna be pretty long. So we've gone through one, two, three fights in, in <laughs> 30 minutes. One, two, three, Four, five. We've got five more to go. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to continue this on the next episode. Hope you join me for the next episode. See how weird this whole thing gets, I guess. Uh, yeah, should be fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.